Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Greens. So in the continuation to our series on Spark Interview question, today I've got a scenario based question of Spark. And this is one of the interview question asked in uh, one of the companies. And it's a pretty interesting question and it will test uh, the real understanding of uh, the Spark. So guys, let's start. So this is a piece of code that is given and the question is which part of the following code would be executed on the master or the driver node and which part of the code would be executed on the worker node. So let's try to understand this piece of code. So here we have a method which is get even count on weekdays per month. Uh, so this is taking one uh, RDD with local date time and another long value and returning the array of string and long. And then the data is filtered based on this logic. And then we have called map and then we have called the reduce by key and then we have called dot collect. Then the result which has come after the collect has been applied the map operation and here in this map operation, we are trying to uh, format the date which is received based on this formatter that we have initiated. So this is the piece of code. In this piece of code, we do see a lot of transformations and one action. And the question is, which piece is of the code uh, in this particular uh, in this particular function? would be called on the driver node and which would be called on the worker node. So let's try to understand. So interesting part from that question from that uh, function is we have charted out the list of different transformations and actions. So these three if you see in the highlighted blue color are the three transformations which have uh, which are applied on the data and all the transformations these blue transformations would be operated on the worker node. So just make sure first when you will initiate the spark job say for this particular program the base method that you have the base function that you have get even count on weekdays per month this would be initiated or performed by the driver application and then it would be delegated to the worker nodes. So these uh, blue highlighted transformations would be performed uh, on the worker node. This will make part of the DAG lineage. As you know, a Spark is lazily evaluated. So nothing would happen unless and until you will initiate any action. So when this program would be initiated by the driver, these uh, first three transformations would make a DAG lineage. Like these all would be part of the dynamic acyclic graph. No action is taken by the Spark on the actual data so far. But now we have called the action dot collect. Collect is an action. And as soon as you call the collect, this result data would be computed based on the DAG lineage. These transformations would be applied in the same sequence and data would be collected as an array of data into this variable which is result. Now as soon as you call the collect this all data will go back to the driver. This is something you'll have to remember as soon as you called an action collect everything will go back to the driver. Now the result data set is available on the driver node. Now you have called another transformation map here on the result data set. Now result data set is already been collected at the driver node. So when you will try to perform this particular transformation, this will happen on the driver node. So this is this is the twist in this question. Though this is a transformation, it's not an action, but we have already called an action. So the result data set, which is achieved by applying these three transformations, would be collected or would be shuffled back to the driver node. And then when you will initiate this this particular map on the result data set, 
it would be uh, applied on the driver node itself everything else everything else would occur or would be performed on the worker nodes except this particular transformation right so the underlying point here to understand is that point number 1 spark is uh, everything happen in a uh, lazy fashion is a lazily evaluated uh, paradigm so nothing will, would happen unless and until you call in action right before that all the transformations will make part of the dag rdd lineage would be maintained there as soon as you call this collect method which is an action this dag uh, transformations would be actually uh, performed on the underlying data which is this and this would be performed on the different worker nodes right then you call an action the resultant of the data post the application of these transformations would be now shuffled back to the driver node in the result as the result data set now this result data set is shuffled back to the driver node now you have called the another transformation map on that so this map transformation uh, would occur now on the driver node itself so guys you have to uh, just keep in mind that whenever an action is called all the data is shuffled back to the driver node and if the data set is available at the driver node itself further if you call or apply any transformation that will occur on the driver node itself as the data set is available there so guys that's it in this particular video keep learning and do subscribe to my channel thank you very much